publication date we've looked at, but we're just going to take a quick summary of it again. So here we have the author and then the article, the journal name, and the volume number. And here January 2013. Why January? Because that is information that the journal supplies. That's the way they date their articles and their journal. That's quite okay. Belton, John, Painting by the Numbers, the Digital Intermediate. Film Quarterly is the name of the journal. We've got a volume number, a number, and then this journal uses the season, spring 2008. Okay? If that's the way the journal does it, then that's how we copy it. How about information that is appearing online, but you need to reference it and have a date, but it doesn't include a date. How do you do that kind of thing? So let's take a look at that because I think more and more we do this, although you must be careful about referencing things that are online. They can't be found in the future. That's going to present a problem. You want to do your best to help people in the future find what you're citing. So here we have an example. So we have an author. And then we have the quotation marks, so this is an article inside of a magazine. The magazine is called The Atlantic. And in this case, we have the very specific date of 28 December, and that's okay. But that's not enough, because then we also have the web address here. So what we're doing is we're saying, this article was retrieved online. And the specific date of this article was this December 28th. So that's a little bit better. It's helping us to find the URL address. That same article, if you bought it at the newsstand or you bought it at the bookstore or you got it at the library in print, would look almost exactly the same except at the end. We would have the January to February what is this? Because that magazine, when they issue their magazine, they do it in this month-by-month -month way. And it's called January to February. That's the way they write it. So it's probably two months for that one issue. So in that case, we're going to follow what they do. Now if it's online, we have to say this was the exact date that it was retrieved online. That's different than using the print aspect. For television, you use the year that it was on television, the year that it appeared on television, or what we say aired on television. You can even get to be specific and say the exact day that it aired. So here we have our uh, Buffy the Vampire example. Originally, we just used 1999 as the year, but we could be specific and use the day, 14, the month, December, and the year, 1999. Now, that's not to say that any time it's on TV, you can use that date. Even if you're watching the TV and you see that show now, and now is like 2017, December, and you see it now, you don't use now's date. Rather, you go back to the date it was released. The same is true as if you watch it online. Let's say you watch it online and you're watching this show, Buffy the Vampire, on YouTube. You do not cite it as being seen on YouTube now. What you do is you go back to a source, like I mentioned before, the Internet Movie Database, IMDB. You look up when did it originally air. What season was it? What episode was it? And what was the year and maybe the day and the month that it aired the first time it was on television? Now, if you're watching a television program and it's not on the regular television on the air, but rather it's over the internet like Netflix or Hulu or some other kind of online service like HBO Go, which is online, and it's not broadcast on air, then in that case, you do need to cite that it's from Hulu or it's from YouTube. So there's many different possibilities here. It can get confusing quite quickly. In this example, we'll go ahead and say that we're going to try to cite 
a video that I watched, but this video was not on air, it was online. So in this case, we go ahead and use the name, which is Buffy the Vampire Slayer, and it's an unaired pilot. That means it was created, but it was never put on television. But now I can see it on YouTube. So the actual pilot was from 1996. So we put that information here to clarify what is it I'm citing. Where did you get it from? What is the container? The container is YouTube. And then we need some more detail. Uploaded by Brian Stowe. If you're on YouTube, they have the name of the YouTube channel owner. And the upload date was 28 January 2012. And then here's the address, the URL address. How about an article on the internet in general? So here we have the author's name, and then we have the name of the article, and then we have the name of the website or the name of the blog, and then we have the exact date of the article that it was published, and then we have the address of the exact location. This is where we can find the article, and then we end with a period at the end. How about a comment on a blog or on a website? So you may read an article or you may read a review. This is somebody posted something in response to somebody else's uh, website, web page, or post or blog. So it's starting to get a little bit confusing, right? So in this case, it's very interesting. We can here say, here's the person's name, Gene. And what is this? It's a comment. It's a posted comment. And what is it commenting on? This article here. We have the quotation marks because we know this article. The reading brain differences between digital and print. And this is, this is inside of a website or inside of a blog. The blog is so many books. And the date of this was 25 April 2013, 10.30 p.m. That is the date and the time of the comment. So why don't we have the person's whole name. Why do we only use Gene? Well, because when people comment online, they often use a pseudonym that is a different name, or they just use a simple name, or they use a nickname. We don't know what the person's whole name is. This is all we see. We just see that this comment is from Gene. And what does Gene say? Gene says something about the article called The Reading Brain. And where is The Reading Brain? It's inside of a website. What's the name of the website? The name of the website is so many books. What was the date and the time of that comment? 25 April 2013, 10.30 p.m. And here is the address for the location of that comment.